I'll be adding lights to this scene. If you want to see how I do it, watch this video. Coming right up. Hello and welcome to BNSS 6951, a Vinny Vid Productions video. Hi, I'm Vinny and I will be your host. The content you'll find on this channel would be layout run obsessions, layout updates, tips, tricks, and techniques on scratch builds, kit builds, and kit bashing, how to's, live streams, and some rail fanning then please consider to hit that subscribe button. And after you hit that subscribe button, please hit that bell. This way you'll get notified every time I do an upload video or a scratch build or a live stream. Finally, if you can give me one of those, I would really appreciate it because that would help my analytics with YouTube. If you enjoy all of this stuff, then let's get on with this video. We'll be right back. All right, guys, as I have mentioned in my previous videos that uh, on my helix uh, where the mountains are right now, it's a pretty dark area once I get it all together with fascia and everything on this. I decided I'm going to put some uh, LED strip lighting under there, and that is these guys. And these were what was the lighting I had for the second deck. Anyhow, I've graduated to different lighting, and so I saved these problem with these is when you want to go around a corner they just don't they just don't bend around a corner so what I need to do is I actually need to cut sections and solder these solder wires to these so I can have the flexibility of going around a corner which I have to go around two corners anyhow uh, let me give you a, a short uh, a short idea of what I have to do um, in order to accomplish the lighting that I want to do for this area. So let me switch cameras right now. And so what you see in front of you right now is the LED strip. This one is already cut and let me show you what's going on here. So this is a, just a really crude drawing of uh, how the lighting has got to go. And actually, let's see. Yes. No, that's wrong. That's the way this way. Right. So anyhow, um, as you can see, they are uh, a four foot section here, a one foot section here, two foot section here, another two foot section here, and then a whole six foot section right here. Um, the power is going to come in from this side right here, uh, which is the uh, um, fascia right, right below El Mirage. So basically, this whole area from here all the way to here will be lit, lit up with these... Um, uh, LED stripes. Anyhow, with that being said, as you can see, I've got the first one uh, cut out, and this is four feet, which is the one that I showed you earlier. That's going to be um, where the power is going to come in. Now, if you're not aware of this, if you look at the strips, every third LED, so here's a copper strip right here, and there's another copper strip right here. So every three LEDs, you can cut these. All right. So if I want six, if I need like one foot, would be my next one. I'm gonna I'm gonna do. So I would measure out one foot, and then whichever is the closest copper strip is where I'll cut it. So anyhow, like I said, I got this uh, first one done, which is four feet, and I did. I don't know if you could see that, but I did mark. The red there because that's the red wire the side that the red wire has to go on and as long as I keep this oriented um, as long as I keep this oriented in the same way uh, I should have no problems uh, when I wire this back up so anyhow like I just said what I'm going to do is uh, put this together like right here and make sure that I got the red on the right side which I do so we'll go ahead and mark that and I'm just using a, a uh, a mini brush and some uh, acrylic paint just to mark these so anyhow here's the red paint I'm using and like I do it's just something small just take it out of the cap and I will mark 
the side that gets the red wire on this end and then also the end when I cut it <clears throat> and I will cap this up because uh, I don't want to have an accident all right so this next piece is going to be one foot so let's see this should be a foot right here let me just make sure of that That one foot is actually here. So I will go to the closest um, copper strip, which is this one right here, and I will go ahead and cut that. And all I'm going to use to cut that is my hobby knife, and as long as I'm on a hard surface, it'll cut just fine. So, try to get it in the center. And push. And there you go. So now I got one side marked with the red. I'll go ahead and mark the other side. So I know when I start putting this together that the red needs to go on the outside. Okay. All right. Now I should be putting numbers on these because I did number them on my little chart that I have here. Uh, but I think I could figure this out. So the next one. Next one. Hello. Come on up here. It's going to be two feet. And there's going to be two of them at two feet. So. Uh, let's see, I'll use my cup to hold this in place. There you go. <laughs> and we want two feet. There's two feet. And again, the closest one to the two foot mark. This is working out pretty good, actually. As you can see, is this one right here. So again, I'll just take my, my, my exacto and just give them a slice in the middle and I'll mark both of these with the red on the outside yeah the paint's not covering too good it's because it's got a waxy surface. And yeah, let's see if I can get a little bit more. Now we're going to do another one at the same length. And then I need to solder these all together. And I'm going to solder them together here on my workbench and just carry it out to the layout when I'm ready for it. But I want to put a little bit more paint on here so you can see it. There you go, that's better. And again on this side. Okay, and then we'll do this side also. <clears throat> Alright, so we need another two foot piece. Should be testing these lights out before I actually be doing this, but oh well. <laughs> All right, so we go from there. This is really working out pretty good. I mean, it's it's winding up to be right on the copper strips, and I think that's because these are, like I said, every three LEDs, and those must be never measured them. But let's see. Yeah, it's uh, it's every two inches. There is one of these copper deals. All right. Okay, and then again with the red paint. 
<clears throat> all right well you guys get the idea of what's going on here so let me get these all cut out and then i'll show you the, uh, bring you back when i get them all soldered together so stay tuned and we will be back in a little bit this Vinnie Vid production brought to you by Yankee Dabbler. For all your model railroad needs, check out Yankee Dabbler. Don't forget, 7% discount with BNSF 6951. And by Highways and Byways, awesome street graphics for your roads and streets on your model railroad layout. If you guys are looking for sophisticated model railroad electronics, Logic Rail technology has what you need. For a 5% discount on certain items, use code BNSF6951. Alright guys, now it's time for the next step on your layout. Trees! I have been dealing with Bob for 7 years now and he does excellent work on his trees. So if you need some trees on your layout, check out Long Shadow's Trees. Tell him the cuz sent you. Alright guys, I am ready to start soldering these sections together but before we do that i want to show you how this is all going to get hooked up and how i'm going to supply the power to these lights so stay tuned uh while i change camera angles so we'll be right back all right guys what you're looking at in front of you right now is a dimmer for these um, strip lighting and uh, as you can see they get pretty bright and i already have these ones temporarily hooked up these ones right here <laughs> right there everything is backwards so anyhow um there will be kind of like one going off on one side of the layout and one going off on the other side of the layout so that's why i got two of them hooked up but as you can see that these uh actually work pretty good now let me just kind of back a little bit and right there now you see me i'm hooking up not in the first ones here but on the second ones because this one here has a little bad connection on the end so i'd rather be safe and do it there but as you can see they are all lit and if i do that and that you can see that the dimmer works very well anyhow i'm going to go ahead and start soldering these guys on here uh, and we'll see how it goes from there so stay tuned and we will be back shortly all right guys i already started doing these connections i already did uh the first one from the four foot to the one foot now i'm doing the one foot to the two foot uh and i've been checking them as i go along and i found that some of the connections at the end are not as good as they should be so i go to the second connection uh which works very well so anyhow we're going to start by doing this and we're going to go ahead and put this guy on and i'm putting probably between eight and twelve inches worth of wire in between uh only because uh, I could always uh, roll the wire up or always extend it if it's not enough. Anyhow, I think that I have enough here. So let's see. All right, guys, check this out. All right, this is the six foot section right here. And as you can see, it's lit. And then we're going to go into a two foot section somewhere. There it comes. Into a two foot section. And you can see it's all still lit. And then we're going to go into another two foot section. And then a 
one for a second. Should we come up here pretty soon? And here's the one for a second. And finally, we get into the four foot section. And as you can see, everything is all lit. Now, what I did on this end where the power is, let me move the camera back around. Right here at the uh, dimmer switch, I did add an extension on here about three feet. Uh, so when I put it on the layout, I'll be able to uh, figure out a place to mount this guy. Anyhow, um, that's about it for now until we get this out on the layout. So we'll talk to you guys later. All right, guys, I'm doing this part of the video in uh, room light only, only so I can show you uh, the progress I've made so far. As you can see, I've got this mounted up here and I have two switches in. This one here is, is just in there. It's not hooked up to anything yet. But this is my power on and off. So remember I told you about the uh, status light right next to it? And there you go. Now, the next thing I want to show you is if you remember my last video, I was showing you uh, some stuff I'm going to put in my LEDs. And here is the controller or the dimmer. And watch this, guys. Woo, look at that. <coughs> Take a walk around. There's a couple of dark spots right here. Um, I can't help that because the face is so close. But most of it, most of it's lit up really nice. What do you guys think? I think that looks pretty good. Now, I, I do agree that there is still a dark spot here, and I'm going to try and figure out how to take care of that. Anyhow, well, let's get back to the normal lighting, and I'll show you the rest of what's been going on. Stay tuned. Be right back. Alright guys, I just want to show you what this all looks like uh, so far. Uh, as you can see, I got fascia up all over here and I came up over here because I wanted to make sure that you see a little bit of the back uh, blue background. Got to do something about the lighting under here also. <coughs> but as you can see, I got fascia all the way around. I, need, I still need to paint that. Can't believe a quarter paint went from eight dollars to fifteen dollars. Anyhow, there's going to be the control. Oops. <laughs> there's going to be the controller for the LEDs, and I got my semi-control panel hooked up, and you can see the status light is on right there. Anyhow, I think that's going to be all for this video. And as always, your questions, comments, inputs, subs, shares, and likes are always welcome. For now, that's all folks, PNSF 6951, out.